This is Coombe Cassis Rifle TV in association with Macklin's in Marbella. We're in Sheffield here today. Announcement of uh, Brook versus Chavez. 24th of October, Sheffield Arena. With me, I've got IBF well, Wake King, Kel Brook. How are you? I'm all good. I'm all good. Yeah? Press conference today. Um, Diego Chavez, 24th of October, Sheffield. I'm coming to bring the heat. You know, the fans are in. They're at, the fans are going to be so excited in this fight because Chavez. We know that he comes, um, you know, he's a, he's a bundle of excitement. He comes with, he comes with power. He comes with ferociousness. It is, you know, he keeps coming, and uh, you know, the the fans are in for a real treat that night because uh, he's bringing something different to the table. He's dirty, he's dirty, he's dirty. You know, a couple of fights ago he got got disqualified against Bandon Rios. You know, so it's it's a, a new style t uh, to me. So I'm willing to uh, to get in there take the challenge on and, and deal with him. After you went over Frankie Gavin, um, there was a lot of opponents talked about potentially for you uh, for this date in October. Um, Tim Bradley, Prodnikov, Brandon Rios. Um, where was Chavez in the mix amongst them? Was he Where on the list was he? You know, he's, he was there, but... You know, we we wanted to we wanted Timmy for Bradley, you know, and it was it was going well in negotiations, but it broke down at the last minute, you know, and uh, we look we looked at other fighters and, and Brandon uh, and Diego Chavez popped up. He got a draw with Bradley, uh, and uh, he's in exciting fights, and uh, you know it were it were easy to work with their people, and here we are, you know, the fight got made is an exciting fighter. You know, um, he's, be, he's been WBA and Trim World Champion, you know, and, and that is, 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 you know, he's is, is lost and he doesn't like that feeling, you know, so he's coming. He wants to be a winner, you know, so he's going to be a real handful on, on 24th. I believe I read that Rios and uh, Bradley will be announced for, for a fight against each other uh, in the next few days. Yeah, you know, it's a good fight, it's a good fight, but listen. You know, after this, I you know I want I want them names now. You know, I'm I'm not you know I'm not messing about now. Listen, I want the top names. I want I want the the Bradleys, the Rios, all them all them top names, the Garcias, the Thurmans. You know, we're not messing about. You know what I mean? We're not messing about. I'm world champion, 35 and 0. I wanna you know I wanna challenge myself, and uh, I need to get up for these fights. You know, and they're the top names now. You know what I need. You know I need them. I need them. I need them fights. Eddie Hearn said it. You said it in the press conference that you feel that like Diego Chavez will be your toughest uh, test to date. Um, do you book that ahead of Sean Porter? I think it probably could be the fact that styles make fights. Styles make fights, and you know he's going to be coming forward non-stop. You know, so if I'm not if I'm not ready, you know, he's, he's going to be a real handful. You know he's gonna keep coming. He's chucking big shots. He's got a, he's got a good knockout uh, ratio, and uh, he's coming. Uh, and I'm gonna be ready. Since obviously your uh, win over Porter, which was around about this time last year, back in August of 2014, you've had two defences. This will be your third one. Um, you satisfied with sort of the the opponents that have been in your way? Obviously, one was a mandatory. But one with a mandatory, what what we needed, we needed to fight him. You know, you need to fight your mandatory or or give up the title. I'm not giving the title up, so I'm fighting Joe Joe Daniels, my mandatory. Um, you know, and Eddie come to me with, you know, with the Frankie Gavin fight. You know, and you know it, it was so quick. You know, from the Joe Joe Dan fight, and uh, you know, it were it were highly ranked, and he's been saying for for a long time. You know, from from pre, from a previous promoter. That um, he's always been, um, you know, he thought he could beat me, and I'm, you know, and, and I'm hearing it, I'm hearing it time and time, you know, off him. So I thought, you know, why not give him the opportunity, you know, why not give him the opportunity to fight for a world title, you know, and uh, you know, it, it would have needed to be made. We're both from the same promotional company, and uh, you know, that fight got made, and uh, you know, I, I dealt with uh, Frankie Gavin, um, and here we are today fighting Chavez, who's, you know. Look at his, just look at his name up on on YouTube, and you'll see, you know, he's never in a dull fight, uh, Chavez. And uh, if you're not ready, you know, he's going to be a real handful. We know that your promoter Eddie Hearn met with 
Team Khan probably a couple of months ago, um, discuss whatever they discuss, but something for next year that this could still happen. Yeah, he's, he's conning the fans if, if he doesn't. You know, what other, what, other fight, what other fight out there is there for him? You know, what other fight is there out there for him? You tell me. What other fight is there out there what's bigger than me? You tell me. Um, well, I suppose he's targeting the, the the kind of names that you want to be fighting. I know, but ooh, what's what's a bigger fight than me and him? If, if he's saying that he wants a world title and stuff like that, you know, it's why not fight? Why not fight? Tell me, you know, it's like what's more exciting? Well, I, I want to see the fight, so I don't. I know. I don't know myself, but that's what I mean. You know, you know. Don't get me wrong. Either you know, the talented fighter, the good fighter. The the fact is. You know, myself and my team know that we're going to beat him, yeah. But the public can't split us. You know, some saying him, some saying me. That's what's that's that's what's so exciting about the fight. That's what's so exciting about the fight. What other fight is there bigger than me and me and Khan out there? Far Khan, maybe Pacquiao, maybe. You know, he's been trying for a long time for the Mayweather. He never got the fight. There's no other fight out there for him. What's what's as big? So, you know, why can't the British fans, you're, you're, you know, you're from Britain, and I am, I've got a world title, what we can fight for, you know, a massive stage. Don't tell me that that doesn't excite you. Come on, man. Do you believe this fight will happen next year? If it doesn't happen next year, it'll never happen. It'll never happen. He's been trying so, lot, so hard to fight, um, you know, um, Mayweather. You know, you could probably say that I've been, you know, been shouting to fight him, but I'm only, I'm just, I'm just, um, I'm just giving. You know, the fans weren't that interested in him fighting uh, Mayweather. You know, but you know, it's in demand that we we fight, me and Khan fight. You know, I'm, and I want to plead the fans, so that's why, I, you know, when you ask me, I say, I want it. Floyd Mayweather does make his apparent last appearance in the ring this week against uh, Andre Berto. What did you make of that fight, Kel? You know, I, I wasn't surprised. I'm not surprised when, when the fight got made at all. Um, I think it's a smart smart move from uh, Mayweather. You know, Berto's not looked, you know, that fantastic in his last four, four or five fights. You know, he's been stopped by, you know, um, Soto Carras, you know, all the was a gatekeeper, he got stopped. You know, Guerrero may with a beat with ease, um, made a mess of Berto. You know, so you know, I think it's a smart move for for uh, Mayweather. Berto is a name that you've mentioned before yourself that you wouldn't have minded that fight either. Yeah, but I'm on about with with a with a uh, level of uh, opposition and the names is being in with Mayweather. It's for everybody. You know, and, and after him fighting Pacquiao, we'd probably want him to fight someone who's, who's um, you know, who's, who's fighter of the month, you know, to, to fight instead of someone like Berto. But with me, you know, I've just become world champion and I've not shared a ring with, you know, the opponents Mayweather being in with. So, you know, that's, you know, that, that fight worked for an option with Berto. But um, that's where we are. I would have... You know, I would have liked the call, being unbeaten and uh, you know holding the other world title, and I think that it would have, you know, I think it would have been a, a massive fight, and uh, I would have definitely gone in there to to do him in big time. Just one final question: Would you say that you would have deserved the Mayweather fight ahead of Amir Khan? I do, I do, um, I do. You know, being being world champion, being unbeaten. And being never, I've, I've never been nearly beaten. You know, I think that, I think why, why not? You know, you want to, you want to test yourself. And I think, um, I should have got the nod more than more than anyone else. All right. Well, listen, Kel. Uh, thanks for talking to uh, IFL TV. Uh, 24th of October, Sheffield Arena. Brock versus Chavez. Uh, it's a dual pay per view with uh, Klitschko and Fury. Also in Dusseldorf in Germany, so it should be quite some night, whether you're in Sheffield, Dusseldorf or at home, watch it on Sky Box Office. It's a massive night for British boxing, um, Tyson Fury fighting, 
Klitschko has been world champion for many years, a massive night. And me, who defending my world title against Chavez, who was never in a dull fight. So, you know, the fans, if, they, if, they, if they're not at the arena in Sheffield or in Germany, you know, they need to be at home watching it uh, on TV because what a night a uh, uh, British boxing 24th of October. You need to you need to tune in. 24th of October certainly. All right. Big up Scots menswear. Big up Scots menswear. Yeah, exclusive uh, tracksuit. I like red. All right, Kel. Thanks for all to Apple TV, and we'll catch up with you really soon. Cheers.